Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. Everybody, guys, another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Bug Lock. We are back once again with an incredible episode of bug shenanigans and destruction. Chilling here in Jubilife City. If you guys missed the last one, I'll have a link in the description below. Our episode one, where we got our starter Pokemon Sterling. We worked our way to Jubilife, and now we are gonna be headed towards Auraberg City and what could be one of our toughest challenges in the playthrough. Rourke and his rock type gym as always if you enjoy this series show some love and hit that like button down below I want you guys to turn up on that like button and of course subscribe to the channel if you guys are new You don't want to miss out on our epic episodes and of course I got to shout it out team shoddy t-shirts go to teamshoddy.com pick up your t-shirt today We've got awesome designs. They'll be flashed on the screen use code shawnee for 15% off if You pick up three t-shirts or more and let's not waste any time Let's jump into things here. We just did the trainer school. I'm pretty sure I'm all healed up So let's see what's good in the rest of Jubilife as the clouds have kind of taken over I've got my poke catch which you can hide by the way and uh, we're gonna be we're gonna be strolling around So let's see what we got Ah, uh, an old rod is a good thing So you actually do get access to the old rod early game, which is great. This is always phenomenal to be able to catch some uh, To catch some some magic harp and things like that unfortunately for me not really relevant here, but around 218, we'll be able to kind of work our way. Ooh, she got a little wingle. What are you doing with a wingle here? Hello? I asked my boyfriend to meet me on Route 218, but he's nowhere to be seen. Let me guess, he's on the other side of 218? Just a just a hunch. I'm gonna take a stroll around the Pokatch place and see if there's anything cool here. I love the floors. They're gonna continue to add new Pokatch apps. This is the important dude, the president, who just hooked me up, but. I guess I gotta earn a gym badge before you can really give me anything good. While we get this kicked off here, we're gonna ask our question today. What is your favorite bug type Pokemon? And you guys can let me know in the comments section below. For me, I would say it's probably Vikavolt. However, Butterfree grew on me a lot in the Sun and Moon era and Motham is always a super special Pokemon for me because, you know, it was it was like basically my first mascot in Pokemon and it's just, it's just a special Pokemon to me. So those are some of my favorites. They're not always the strongest, but they are quite amazing. And I think now is the perfect time for those who might be new to the channel or might be a little confused. Why does A-Drive like bug types so much? Well, let me give you the rundown now. Basically, when I was a kid, I played a lot of Pokemon, as I'm sure many of you guys did. And I was pretty adept at the game, right? You know, I was a teenager. I didn't find Pokemon necessarily challenging. So I was looking for ways to make the game harder for myself. And one of the things that I looked up was called a monotype run, where you only use one type of Pokemon for the duration of the playthrough and that would increase the challenge, right? So I'm sitting there brainstorming little A drive at 13 years old or whatever thinking to myself Oh, what what type could I pick like I couldn't pick dragon for a monotype run because you don't get dragons until way later in the game Right like when do you get your your dragons, you know at the end of the game? What types can I get early and what types would make it hard and bug type popped out to me because in the old games in pretty much every game Ooh, quick claws nice and pretty much every game, bug types are really easy to obtain, right? Like, they're super easy to obtain in the early game. You get them super quick. And because you get them so early, it allows you to, um, you know, essentially get the monotype playthrough kicked off in a, in a positive way. Pretty much every game has, has Pokemon, like, bug types early. And they're also considered the weakest type. So, I started doing bug playthroughs, and I pretty much played through every game with just bug Pokemon. And here's a, here's a bug catcher friend. What's up, buddy? Um, I, like, I like this little guy. So... That, I mean, that's really the story of it, right? I've kind of fell in love with them. I feel like their designs are really cool. Now, there's other parts of the story where when I was a kid, I mean, I used to run around in the yard with a butterfly net and catch butterflies and play with all sorts of crit critters and creepy crawlies and, you know, salamanders and all sorts of stuff. That was just kind of part of being a kid, my, you know, my growing up. Um, but I would say it really started from just kind of the hunch of one of the try playing through Pokemon games with a little bit of a challenge and, and bug types provided that. So... In Platinum, I will say in Platinum, you do actually get access to Wurmple on this route. I don't think we're gonna get Wurmple here, but I will look around. We'll take on these couple trainers for the levels, hopefully evolve Sterling in the process, and then we'll move forward to Auraberg as well. Hopefully we don't run into anything too strong. I should be okay though. I have the Quick Claw now, which is kind of nice actually for a Pokemon that's relatively slow. And you know, Struggle Bugs should kind of carry us. Level seven, I think we're still okay. I mean, if we run into like a level seven Starly, that's going to be a little trickier, but it's looking pretty good here. And once we get to 10, it's over, baby. Like, that is where Sterling really, really picks up and starts to put in the work. And our first Quick Claw activation, which was really not needed because I was going to beat the Bidoof anyway. This Bidoof goes down. Hopefully, we get enough to evolve here. Let's see. 
Is it gonna happen? Not yet. Okay, one more trainer. We're almost there. Hey, you. My dad gave me some Pokemon. They're gonna win for me. All right, let's see what your dad gave you. What do you got, buddy? Two Mons. He's got a Magikarp. I think I think we're gonna be okay against this. Flippity floppity Magikarpity. Here we are 25 years later and Splash still does no damage. Nice. And my arch nemesis Starly, of course. This one's only level five, but this should give me the XP I need. And it's almost like an anime episode. Sterling will hopefully evolve off of this Starly and work towards getting vengeance for its fallen mother. It's taken by a Staraptor when it was just a level one cricket tot. And one thing I, I didn't mention earlier about, you know, my love for bug types is they get so strong in the early game, which makes them really, really fun. They definitely fall off in the late game, right? There's no doubt about it. It gets very challenging in the late game to succeed with bug type Pokemon. But because they get so strong, their power spike is so early on, I probably am gonna potion just to be safe. That would be really bad if I actually fainted here. Because their power spike is so early on, it gives them a massive advantage in the early game. Like the first like little bit is very hard. Then once they all evolve at like 10, 15, 20, they're really, really strong. And then they kind of fall off towards the end. This playthrough, we're gonna have the pleasure of hopefully having Pokemon like Heracross and Scyther on our team. Uh, and, and those are gonna be some of the legends that hold it down for us. Um, but I have a feeling Sterling is gonna be an important piece of the puzzle here. And that Starly goes down and that is vengeance. Level 10 for Sterling. I, I'm pretty sure it evolves at 10. Don't quote me, because I could be wrong and just look really dumb here. The best cry in the game! Yeah, it's time, baby! Sterling is evolving! Oh, baby. This is it. This is where it really begins, my friends. Love the cry, you gotta love the cry, ladies and gentlemen. And Sterling wants to be the very best that no one ever was. It crosses its knife-like arms in front of its chest when it cries and it can compose melodies ad lib. Learned Fury Cutter, it is about to go down. I really need uh, some sort of accuracy boosting item. But let's take a look at it. Modest Nature, obviously, now has access to Swarm. Its attack is now officially higher. Has Fury Cutter now and Struggle Bug. Fury Cutter is going to allow this thing to put in the work. May I please trouble you for a battle? Now you guys get to see the true destruction of Sterling, who's reached his final form. Last Samantha, I'm sorry, but your Budu gets to be the bud of my jokes right now, as I am going to slash it and hack it and Fury Cutter everything into obliteration. This is gonna be just wonderful to watch. Like I said, if we can get an accuracy boosting item on this, oh, he's, of course he's gonna poison me. If we can get an accuracy boosting item on this thing, we're gonna be in really, really good shape. And he might actually be able to learn work up right now. I'm gonna take a look. I'm not sure if it's the right decision to use work up though, because actually, you know what? It might be worth, it might be worth having work up. Uh, I don't wanna get rid of struggle bug and I don't, oh, I missed. Okay, this is, this is already bad. He's gonna change my ability to insomnia. The poison's racking up. I should have just went for struggle bug. That's okay, that's okay. We're gonna knock this thing out on the next turn before things get too hectic. I'm gonna have to run to the Pokemon Center, but I think we'll be okay. I'm pretty sure a struggle bug will knock it out. We will not miss this time. There it is. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna go heal up and then uh, you know keep exploring. And this little cave here is a fun location to check out. Ravage Path, we can't go anywhere without Rock Smash. So we can't advance, although what's funny is I'm pretty sure in the old games you used to be able to walk a little further, but maybe not. Um, probably nothing of interest in here for us, some Geodudes, but nothing we can do anything with. And I'll just peek around in the grass here just a little bit, just to see if maybe, just maybe, Wurmple's gonna be here. But again, I'm not gonna hold my breath. All right, so no luck on the Wurmple, unfortunately, but there's Deathly, and it looks like we're gonna have our first throwdown against him. Do you have a need to ask? All right, this is gonna be tough, man. You know, he does have a Chimchar. I only have one Pokemon, he's got two. I think we're gonna be all right. But of course he has a Starly! Of course I'm gonna have to deal with Starly this whole time, aren't I? This entire playthrough, I'm gonna have to deal with a Starly and an Infernape. If you don't think this is gonna be tough, I don't know what to tell you. But we have a secret weapon right now, and that is Fury Cutter. So we're gonna just use that to the best of our ability. We're gonna get hit with a Tackle here, which is fine. 
And the key is I cannot miss. We just cannot get, we cannot miss. We need to hit our Fury Cutters. If we can hit them, they're great. Rock does not resist bug. A lot of people think it does, but Rock does not resist bug. So we can use Fury Cutter to beat Roar. But again, it all comes down to not missing the Fury Cutters. Here comes the Chimchar. It's a level nine Chimchar. The odds are stacked against Sterling, who misses the Fury Cutter. Ah! <laughs> The one thing I said needed to happen. Oh no. Okay, here we go. 5%. Okay, he goes for Leer again. All right, so my defense is lowered, but if he has a if he has a fire attack, it's probably Ember. So I'm not too concerned about that. And I can take one Ember. So as long as I hit another Fury Cutter here, we're in good shape. Here's Leer, he's only Leering. I don't think this thing has Flame Wheel at this level. So I think we're gonna be okay. I just need to hit a Fury Cutter. Okay, he does, he is in blaze range, I think, or pretty close. Quick Claw activates, doesn't matter. Hit him, Dealey, you do whoop, Sterling! Yes. That's it, that is the power right there. Woo, okay, okay. We got through it, level 11, let's go. Oh man, my heart. <laughs> we beat Deadly, we're gonna get some cash money. And we can move forward here on the route. Oh my goodness. We gotta be really careful, man. Uh, these Fury Cutters are gonna be, they're gonna be a struggle. Youngster Michael, you're about to get absolutely obliterated by Fury Cutter. I just want you to know, this is your warning. I don't care if you four times resist. Catch this Fury Cutter in the face, Zubat. Goodbye. Youngster Dallas. Yeah, that's my daughter's name. Oh, he's got a cricket tot too. Poor little guy. It's time to show him the Fury. See you, little buddy. See you at Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. Oh, this girl's got three Pokemon. Last, Caitlyn. She's got a Bidoof. And you guys will see, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna kinda highlight some of the battles, obviously the important battles, but battles like this, where I know I can just hack and slash with Fury Cutter a bunch of times, we're gonna cut a lot of these battles out, and you'll, you'll see just like kinda me slashing once, and then me slashing to finish the battle. Um, so, just so you guys know how the series is gonna work. Otherwise, it's gonna be so much of me just battling against, you know, this a level four Starly, like I know I'm gonna one-shot this as long as we don't miss, most likely. The Quick Claw has actually been more annoying than helpful because I'm fast at everything right now, but like this probably, yeah, just one shot, so. Just so you guys know. Now, last Madeline here says that she got the Ouroburg Gym Badge, but I don't know if I buy it with her having a little Starly, and we're gonna add our Starly count up to 12, I think. I think we've massacred 12 Starly so far <laughs> in our quest to avenge Sterling's mother. All right, Sterling will be the very best. Still lonely, likes to play tunes to himself. Just me and me and Sterling herself. Me and Sterling, we just play some music together. It's tough times, listen, it's a lonely thing right now being the only bug at this part of Sinnoh. But there will be friends. Have no fear, there will be friends to be made in the future. All right, here we are in Orberg Gate. What's up, man? Oh, you've got a Poketch, you're a pretty new trainer. Let me make a gift of these technical machines, TM98. I think it's Rock Smash, yes! This is actually very, very big for us. And he's gonna give us the Hidden Moves app, which allows us to Rock Smash, but we have to get the gym battle first. Hidden Moves, use Hidden Moves uh, to block things in your path, sweet. And we do have Rock Smash now, TM98. I think we do say goodbye to Growl for Rock Smash here. Seems like it's a good bet. This is a good move for us to learn. Um, and it looks like they give you three of each, which I don't even think I noticed in the last episode when we got work up. But you get three of each, which isn't too bad. They're not endless use, but that's still pretty helpful. And again, we can't smash yet, but uh, we will be able to go down there after the gym leader. And here's our first cave encounter, and it's a Zubat. Ooh, I like the battle background. I will say, from all the trailers and stuff, the battle backgrounds look really cool, so that's something to be excited about. And here we are in Orberg City, the city of energy. Let's take a look around. Oh, oh wow, <laughs> if you don't have a gym badge, the trainers are gonna look down on you like you're a total noob. Am I a noob? There's the Orberg gym, and of course, your boy Deathly. Oh, it's you. The gym leader's gone, he went to the uh, Orberg mine. I already got my badge. All right, well, let's explore the Orberg City. We're gonna take a look at, uh, you know, all the different houses and everything, see if there's anything interesting, and then we'll go to the mines. Oh, a Dusk Ball, that's actually really nice. I like that. 
So this guy wants me to show him a Zubat. I'm gonna go catch one and show it to him and see what he gives me. And after searching seemingly forever, I found a Zubat. Apparently this is a 20% encounter here and it took forever, but we found one. Oh, I like the Zubat sprite there. I'm a big Zubat fan, no doubt about it, but this one's just to complete that little quest. Hopefully the guy gives me something good. I just didn't want to miss out on like a TM or something. That's, that's why I did it. I'll go out and catch Pokemon too. This is a token of my thanks, a heal ball. Gosh, that was so not worth it. Ooh, net balls. There they are, my perfect Pokeball. We'll grab six of them for now, but that is exactly what we needed. Aw, oh, yeah. Actually, I might sell some Pokeballs just to get more net balls. I'm gonna sell 20 Pokeballs so I can get two more net balls. Cause like realistically, that's what we're gonna use the most anyway. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Have you ever heard about shiny Pokemon? They have different colors than usual. For instance, Pikachu is usually yellow. Hey, they tell you about shinies. Not too bad. Maybe, just maybe I'll get a shiny on this playthrough. You never know. Ooh, the berries look really good up there. That's actually pretty dope. Uh, I'm just, you know, grabbing that item up there. I don't think there's anything worth noting here. Unfortunately, like I said, this is the Diamond and Pearl deck, so there's nothing really to grab here. I think Cricket might spawn here, but we have already got Sterling, so no problemo. Um, I'm gonna keep exploring the city and then head to the mine. Once we get the fossil for Anorith, we can actually get Anorith here and have an Armoldo on our team. I'm pretty sure you can just mine it in the underground, but I don't really recall if it's like during the main game or post game or anything like that. I'm pretty sure you can just do it whenever though. This dude hooks me up with a great ball. Thanks kid. And this dude hooks me up with a super potion, which actually might be very, very clutch uh, later on. So we can't get those otherwise. So we have to use that sparingly for sure. All right, I think it's time for us to head into the mine and kind of take on the couple trainers that are down here. Uh, we gotta run down this way to grab this item. X defense, that also might come in very handy in the gym as they're probably gonna be mostly physical attackers. Uh, we're gonna battle against some trainers as well. And there's, there's the Z-Rat that I was looking for earlier, of course. I gotta say, now that I've played this game for a little bit, the art style has really grown on me. At first, I didn't really like it a ton from the trailers and stuff, but I actually quite enjoy it now. I think it looks pretty cool. We've gotta battle a couple of these trainers down here. I think they just have like Machops and Geodudes. He's got a Machop. So our way to beat Roark, and this is gonna be tough, because again, I'm down to one Pokemon. That's all I got. I'm gonna have to beat this thing. We have Rock Smash, I have X Defend. There's a few things going in our favor. The fact that we can hit them super effectively. Rock Smash, that's the first time I'm using it, kinda cool. Does get defense drops, that could be really useful for us. There's hope. This might actually, oh, we resist though, we resist this. The biggest thing is like, is Roar gonna have Rock to him? And like, is he gonna be able to deal a lot of damage to us with that? I could also take the approach of going for Fury Cutter into Roark. I could just Fury Cutter him down, Hope I get max stacks on Fury Cutter so that way by the time like Kranidos hits the field, I'm gonna just one shot everything. Cause again, rock types do not resist bug types. It's just that bugs are weak to rock. So it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough, but um, you know, maybe we'll get lucky and uh, we won't miss a Fury Cutter or maybe the rock smashes all hit and get defense drops or who knows what. And here's Rourke. Stand back and watch this. Using the hit and move rock smash, get rid of their boulder blocking your way. Boom! Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from this gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first and that'd be me. And then he just books it. Not even like, yo, I'll see you at the gym. He's just like, I'm outies. Peace. All right, well, let's beat up this last trainer here. Grab the item, go heal up, and then we're gonna take on the gym and see what happens. Here's a Geodude so I can kind of practice my strategy, I guess. All right, Oraberg gym time, baby. Let's see how we do. Oh man, he's got two trainers. And there is Roark standing up top there with his sturdy rock type Pokemon. Oh boy, rock type don't like water or grass types and I have a bug type, so let's see what we got here. I am gonna battle the trainers. It'll be a nice warm up. I can kind of get an understanding of whether Rock Smash or Fury Cutter is my best bet here. Youngster Jonathan, what do you got? Geodude, I'm thinking I go the Fury Cutter route. I think I go the Fury Cutter route because it's gonna be slow starting, but after like two or three Fury Cutters, it's gonna be pretty strong, pretty strong. Let's see. This is a good test because level 10 Geodude's about what we're gonna face. So I'm gonna take a tackle, no problem, right? Like this is no big deal. But this Fury Cutter is gonna start to really rack up here. And I, I two shot him. So like, I feel like that's the play. I feel like we just Fury Cutter everything. 
You know? Well, we hit level 14. That's gonna put us probably... Sterling's learning Absorb! Yo! The anime arc continues! Wait, this could be really good. This could be really good. It's only 20 base power. I think we get rid of Struggle Bug for this. I kind of want to keep Pound. Although, between Absorb, Rock Smash, Fury Cutter, I'm probably not going to use Pound very much. Struggle Bug I may still use. Okay, I'm going to actually get rid of Pound for Absorb. This could actually be huge. This could be huge. Sterling learns a Grass-type move in the Rock-type gym. Okay, let's see how much that does to this trainer because it still may be in my best interest to go the Fury Cutter strategy. But Absorb is going to be four times super effective against the Geodudes. It's only 20 base power though. So that means it ends up being 80 base power, essentially, right? 20 times 4. Whereas Fury Cutter is 40 base power times 50%, which buffs it. And this is a level 8, so this is going to do more. We just one-shot him. Does he have Sturdy? Do they have Sturdy? Because that may impact as well. Oh, that's tough. It's a good tool to have, though. Having the ability to heal is going to be big. Right? Like, having that flexibility to potentially heal is huge. The thing is, is by the time I get to my second Fury Cutter, I'm doing way more, right? Because you're doing, you're doing 60 the first time. And then the second time, you're doing essentially double, right? You're doing 120 base power. So, two Fury Cutters in a row is equal... Actually, is more than two Absorbs. Ah, oh, that's tough. That's tough. I'm gonna go heal, and then we're just gonna- we're just gonna wing it. I don't think Rock Smash is the play now. I think- I think we definitely use the other moves. Fury Cutter's better if I get a bunch of them. Absorb is better to heal. This is gonna be tough. All right, we're about to find out if little Sterling, who wants to be the very best that no one ever was, can beat the rock type leader Roar. We're just going for it. I'm not sure what strategy I'm using yet, but we're gonna do it. Welcome, this is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Roar, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with rock type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. All right, here we go. Dude, I don't know what to do. I think I Fury Cutter. He's got three Mons, which makes Fury Cutter more appealing for sure. Let's see what level he is. Dude, his animation to throw is really cool. Because I don't think Absorb one shots. Level 12. I think I'm gonna go with the Fury Cutter strategy. Okay. And he goes for rollout. I may have to change my strategy already. Yeah, that does too much. I'm gonna need to heal. I'm gonna need to absorb. I'm gonna have to absorb. I need I, I can't risk him rolling out and getting all that. Yeah, we don't even KO. This is really bad. If I had double absorb, we would have been better off. I needed to double absorb. I need him to miss a rollout. He's not gonna miss it. This is really bad. This is really bad already. Maybe he potions? No. This is really bad. We may lose a life on this gym. I knew this gym was gonna be tough, but that was not... I should have just absorbed. Absorb would have two-shot him, and I would have been at much higher health here. All right, what's your next? It's Onyx. Okay, so I can get a lot of health back with Onyx here, though. That's the good news, is I can absorb and get a lot of health back. It doesn't KO, but if he doesn't go for a rock move, then I'm I'm gonna be in pretty good shape. Oh, that's I'm really not getting that much health back. Rock throw miss. Oh, that does so much. That does so much. I'll absorb. I get the quick claw. I don't know. I don't know if I if I can beat his Kranidos with this. I think Kranidos is gonna do too much to me. Yeah, I'm at 23 health. I mean I do have one super potion, but I think if he goes for like a a rock move on his Kranidos, so I just get wrecked. And I, I'm one, H, 1 XP away from leveling as well. I think what I do, actually, is I think... Oh, he's, that's a sick animation. I think is I'm going to Rock Smash here. No, I'm going to Absorb to get a little bit of health back. And then I'm going to probably use a Potion if I can live the hit. I may lose my first life here, though. Yeah, that does nothing. 
That does nothing. But it may give me enough health to live and attack here. So I can super potion. Bulldoze. That's actually fine. He slows me down, but that's a non-issue. Do I risk it? Now I'm slower. Do I risk that I live another hit? I think I use the potion now, to be honest. Hmm. Do I use the potion now? Or do I risk that Sterling can live one more hit? I mean, it's a Kranidos. It's strong. If he goes for a rock move, I'm dead no matter what, I think. So I'm going to go for the rock smash because I think if I rock smash and get a defense drop, I can knock him out in the next turn. Here's the headbutt. We live it on four. No flinch. Rock smash is huge. Defense drop. Okay. Okay. All I need to do is super potion and then not get flinched to death. He could still kill me though. But now is when we use our super potion. And rock smash will KO as long as I can get an attack off. He goes for headbutt. We can live one more. I need to not get flinched or I need my quick claw. Potion, he potions, but I have the defense drop. I think we do enough. It's gonna be close. Let's go, Sterling clutches up and wins us our first gym badge in the Brilliant Diamond. Bug lock, baby. Only one mod on the team has to hold it down until the cavalry can arrive. And we beat the rock type gym leader, Rourke. Wow. Whoo. This is embarrassing. I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge, but that's the story. You were strong and I was weak and that's all there is. According to the league rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you've beaten me, the gym leader. Here's your official Pokemon League coal badge. Hey, we got the badge case and the coal badge. Not too shabby. And we still have all of our lives intact. Having the coal badge means that you can now use the hidden move Rock Smash from your Poketch. You should also take these as well. TM76, what are you gonna give me? Stealth Rock, that's actually pretty good. That actually could be huge for us. And we get some stickers. Ooh, the gym leaders give you the stickers. Unfortunately, we can't really use the stickers or anything. And I can't use Stealth Rock right now, but there are some bug types that do learn Stealth Rock. And I have a feeling that we will be using it at some point. But a massive win for Sterling, soloing the gym, which was huge. Honestly, I didn't know if we were gonna be able to do it. But man, oh man, I will take that big win today, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, it's Deathly. You got the gym badge too. Eterna City is the next place with a gym that gives away badges, right? I went to 207, but you can't get through it without a bike. I made my team battle and toughen them up, so it wasn't a waste. I'm headed back to Jubilife and then to Eterna. And he's just gonna book it. So let's head our way to Eterna as well, or Jubilife first. And then we gotta head all the way up to Flora Roma Town. And that is where we're gonna be able to access our next set of bug types through the honey trees, which I'm super jazzed up about. A Bidoof helped you out by using Rock Smash. Thanks, Bidoof. And most of this area, I don't really think you can explore yet until you get the bike, but I can grab the items that are on the ground and stuff. TM70 Flash, yo, that's actually not bad. And we get a bag of Stardust as well, which will be nice to sell and get a little cash money. That's all we can do down here though. Oh boy, who's that? Impeccable timing as always. These miscreants are babbling utter nonsense that I can't stomach. Show them manners, if you will. Oh, Professor, must you be so difficult? We are approaching you strictly as businessmen. All you must do is provide us with your research findings. In return, we'll see it to you that your assistant doesn't become collateral damage. A drive, let's battle together and teach these losers a lesson. All right, our first throw down against Team Galactic. They might actually be kind of tough, man. I'm not gonna lie. They have a Wurmple, which I'm trying to get, but they have things like, you know, Zubats and stuff like that that are gonna be a little tricky. Dawn has a Piplup. I mean, we're gonna be okay in this in this situation, but I'll just start Fury Cuttering the Wurmple, and we should be in good shape here to, uh, to ultimately beat them. They have a really cool battle background. That's gonna do some good damage. Water Gun's gonna come off, hit the Zubat, almost knock it out. Astonish, shouldn't do too much. It really doesn't do a lot at all. And tackle from Wormpole, which I will hopefully get soon. And then we'll Fury Cutter the Wormpole and knock him out. 
We should be in pretty good shape if, after that. Hopefully Dawn and her uh, her little Pipple up here will deal the rest of the damage we need to the Zubat and we'll be good to go. Let's see. Good shape there, here comes the water gun. And Zubat goes down, perfecto. You love to see it. Not too shabby for us. Get a little health and or a little XP and Team Galactic goes down. Yeah, you guys just got wrecked, sorry. See you later. You leave us no option, we'll retreat for now. All right, see you guys. That was easy enough. They call themselves Team Galactic, do they? When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some sort of energy. I believe it's a mystic power far beyond our control, but Team Galactic seems to be trying to harness that power for something. Well done. Seeing you trainers battle side by side with your Pokemon only gives me more confident in my decision. The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon. They should have put Megas in. They should have put Megas in. They didn't though. It's sad times. Who are you? Whoa! My name's Bebe. I work as a system administrator in Heart Home City. You can access Pokemon boxes from anywhere and I'll give you some ball capsules. You can use the capsule decoration feature from the ball capsules menu. Yeah! Yo, I'm so excited to do this. Oh my God, that's so exciting. Okay, I'm excited to play with this. This is gonna be great. I said excited like four times in the same sentence. I'm gonna go, ooh, I can go in here too, the TV station. And we actually should be able to get a new Poketch app because the guy said once I beat the first gym or once I get a gym badge, he'll give me a new one. So let's see. The memo pad. That's not really one that I care too much about, but thank you. Two Pokemon, if you had two Pokemon, we get a great shot here. Don't rub it in. Poor Sterling has no friends right now. Ooh, give me a lottery. Oh, I didn't get a match. Okay, let's take a look at our ball capsules and we can start with this one. Let's select Pokemon and we'll pick Sterling. And then we are going to play stickers. Ooh, so this is Roar sticker, the stone sticker. Oh, music notes. Let's put some music notes on here. And what else? I feel like that's probably good. The smoke sticker, ooh, that's kind of cool. The bubble sticker, the fire sticker, the party sticker. Oh, let's give them some confetti too. I'm so excited about these stickers. Okay, I gotta send this dude into battle. Sterling needs to be sent into battle and we need to see how these stickers look because this is exciting times. One of the best features of all time in the Sinnoh region is this. So let's see it. I'm so excited to see these stickers, I'm not gonna lie. We got the music notes, it's great. Okay, it's a Shinx, perfect. Show me, show me. It's amazing! It's amazing! Oh my God, it's the greatest thing of all time. Oh, it's so perfect. I might move them down ever so slightly and try again, but oh man, it's amazing. Okay, I adjusted it ever so slightly. Let's see how it looks now. I think this is perfect. This is amazing. Those music notes for Sterling are so perfect. So perfect, because we already know he loves dubstep and he loves playing some quiet sounds to himself. Let's see it. Oh, oh, I love it. I love it so much. I think that is a great way for us to end this episode. We got our first gym badge against Rark. Sterling is so powerful and doing big things. We've got some stickers that match and this has been wonderful. And we are still looking for our vengeance against the Staraptor that stole Sterling's mother. The next episode will hopefully be filled with bug Pokemon. I have my hopes set very high in Floroma Town and beyond as we work our way to Eterna City. Thank you so much for watching this one. Be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you don't miss out on our amazing Brilliant Diamond Bug Lock. Don't forget to pick up a shirt, teamshiny.com. Use code SHINY for a discount. And last but certainly not least, let me know your favorite bug type Pokemon in the comments section below. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.